as you uh, enter the garage, you can tell it is a brick oven in here. Upwards of 110, 115 degrees at times. Actually, I can feel it. Well, we're going to have a cooling solution for you. And to help us with that, it's Dave Zimmerman's job from a local HVAC company. Say hi to Rich. Hey, Rich. Morning. Now, we're going to do a split type air conditioner. Yes. We've seen absolutely. these before. These things are great. Rich, give me a hand with this. Absolutely. We're going to take this unit and we're going to mount this right up here on the wall for it. All right. Now, this and small unit is uh, big enough to cool this entire space. I mean, it's 110, 115 degrees in here. <laughs> absolutely, without a doubt. All right, this is a ductless unit, mounts on the wall, connects with the refrigerant line sense between the inside unit and this unit, the outdoor unit. So how do we get started with our project? We're gonna mount the unit right up here on the wall. All right, need to level it? I'll yep. hold that. Okay. Right, just make your marks. Yeah, we're gonna mark right up here. And right here is where we're actually gonna screw the bracket to the wall. But we have to make a larger hole right here for the refrigeration lines, drain line, and electrical. Yep. And we're gonna do that right there. Good. For that, we're going to use this rotary hammer drill with a coring bit to give us a nice clean hole. So that we can get a nice clean cut from the outside so we don't blow out the stucco, we're going to take this around and drill from the outside back in. Using these special masonry screws, we're going to fasten the bracket right to the wall. Now air conditioners are also dehumidifiers, and when this unit is on, a lot of the humidity in the air is going to be extracted and sent out through this drain pipe right here. That's called condensate at that point. Now this drain line will have to continue all the way to outside. We also have to connect the refrigeration line sets. This will go to our outdoor unit, and that's insulated. And the last thing we need is our electrical wire, which will run between the outdoor unit and the indoor unit. Now what we're going to do is put all four of those connections through that big hole that we drilled. Now we have to extend all these lines down to the condensing unit. We're going to start with condensate discharge line, and we're going to extend that with a piece of PVC pipe. We're going to press fit that into here, and because there's no pressure ever on this line, it's just simply for discharge, we're going to attach those with a piece of tape. And then we're going to secure that pipe down here with a C-clamp. Now to extend the copper, it's a little trickier. Yeah, you don't want to kink it. Nope, so you got to carefully bring that over. Good. All right, now that we've got this into our chase area, the next thing we want to do is take off our compression fittings for our extension lines. Now, David, here are your copper lines that are going to bring refrigerant to and from the inside unit. You have a couple of different size lines right here. How are you going to make these connections to the line set? Uh, it's going to be with those flaring nuts that we took off earlier okay, and this flaring tool right here. All right, let's do it. All right. Okay, the most important thing is remember to put the nut on first. Okay. Okay. So we get the nut slid onto our copper. Then we take our copper, place it into our flaring tool. There you go. Perfect flared connection. And then we cover it with the nut. We're going to take our new flared end, press this up against our compression fitting from our indoor unit. And we're just going to hand tighten this for right now until we get everything in place. And then we'll snug it up later. All right. All right, great. So there's our outdoor unit. It's important to insulate both of these lines because there is a temperature difference between them. We're going to start off with insulating the quarter inch line. Right about there. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, and hey, before we put the cover on, we need to run the wire that goes in between the two units, the indoor and outdoor, and this is our high voltage wire. Now that also carries the control wiring so that the inside unit can tell the outdoor unit when to come on. That's correct. Good. So let's get it inside and I'll tuck it right in behind. Yep. Put gaining on it. And then we cover up all our work here with this line cover. Face plate right here. Slide it up a little bit, right there. Oh, I like that. So what Dave is doing is testing the connections. We're going to be sure there's no leaks before we add refrigerant. So he's using nitrogen. It's the perfect gas to test with because it has no contaminants and no moisture in it. So what are you pressurized to right there? Right about 300 pounds. That'll, that'll be a good test. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take our weather tight conduit. Going to attach that to our box. 
Right, so that's high voltage. You want to protect it against the rain and also UV breakdown, right? Yeah, and for the safety, we don't want anybody else messing with the high voltage. Good and snug there. Now we're going to fish our wires down through the conduit All right. before we make our other connection. Shoot it to me. All right, there you go. Awesome. Good. All right, here you go. All right. And yeah, we're going to slide that right through here. Make our seal right there. Good. All right, now we're going to just trim these off to where we can put them underneath the lugs there. And we're just making our connections to hot to the ground. And we'll be ready in a moment. Now we make our connections from the indoor unit to the outdoor unit. Couldn't be simpler, all color coded. Yeah, it's idiot proof. Now how did our pressure test hold? Pressure test held great, and uh, we just pulled all the nitrogen out with our vacuum. All right, so time to add some refrigerant? Actually, no. Uh, comes from the factory, already pre-charged with enough refrigerant to run the entire system. That's really great. All right, so, how do we activate that? Okay, all we have to do is open this valve up here, and then there's an inside valve that we release the refrigerant right into the system. Now, Rich, because you're using this garage as a workshop, we've got to be really careful about how much sawdust gets up inside the filters. Now, they sit underneath this cover right here. You can see them, they're pretty easy to take out. You blow them off with an air hose from a compressor or wash them off in a sink, and they slide right back in. Dave, you ready to put the power on for me, please? Absolutely. All right. Now, Rich, you can do the honors. There's a remote. You hit that on button right there. Okay. All right, power's on. You can see the vein starting to move. I can see, feel the fan. You know, guys, I don't think we did this a moment too soon. <laughs> Look at this. How do you guys live here? <laughs> oh, man, this is nothing. You ought to come see us in the summer. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you for all your great work. Oh. We couldn't have done it without you. No problem. Enjoy. Have a Thanks, good day. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate right, it. Get out of here. This is all mine now. Come on. Oh.